Hello everyone, welcome to Jiggy Math. I am Sir Jiggs. So if you have seen the lesson video on combinations last time, I think you are ready now to solve challenging problems involving combination. So how to solve combination word problems? I'm going to give you four different problems to solve. Okay, I'm going to explain how to solve these kinds of word problems. Let's start with the first one. Right, so let's have problem one. An athletics club has 10 long distance runners, eight sprinters, and five jumpers. A team of three long distance runners, five sprinters, and two jumpers is to be selected. Find the number of ways in which the team can be selected. So let's all look at the information given. So 10 runners, eight sprinters, and five jumpers. Okay, so it's better for you to underline this information. And we need a team uh, of three runners, five sprinters, and two jumpers. All right, so we can still use the multiplication principle wherein we have boxes. By the way, of course, during exams, what you can do is just simply write lines to represent these boxes. You can definitely do that. All right, so we have three boxes representing runners, sprinters, and jumpers. So how do we select now the runners, the three runners from 10 runners? So it's going to be represented by combination of 10 taken 3. Now what about the sprinters? Sprinters we have, we're going to select 5 from the 8 sprinters and that will be combination of 8 taken 5. And jumpers we need 2, we need to select 2 jumpers from the five jumpers and that is combination of five taken two so you knew the formula on how to evaluate this but to for 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 us to recall on how to get it okay so let's have that so this is 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 which results to 7 factorial then the other one is 8 factorial all over 5 factorial times 8 minus 5, and that would be 3 factorial. And the other one is 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Okay, so we multiply all of these three uh, combinations. For the first one, uh, if we want to ex expand, of course you can use your scientific calculator to do this, uh, but uh, just to for, for us to recall on how to expand this combination formula, it's going to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by 3 times 2 times 1 times 7 factorial. So you can cancel out the 7 factorial there and cancel out the other common factors such as 3 and 9. So what else? 10 and 2 leaving as 5 as the remaining factor and then multiply um, okay, we will go into that later. We go to the second one. Uh, expand 8 factorial, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. You stop there. And then uh, in the denominator, we have 5 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1. Then cancel out the common factors. You will have uh, this. And for the last one, it's going to be like this. All right. And multiply all of this 3. And what are we going to get equals 120 times 56 times 10. And the answer is 67,200 teams. So imagine, so there's going to be this number of teams satisfying this condition. All right, now let's jump to problem number two. A committee of five people is to be chosen from six women and seven men. Find the number of different committee, committees that can be chosen if there are no restrictions, if there are more men than women. So you know that this is a combination uh, problem because uh, this, this word, okay, chosen, selected, committee, a team, a group, okay, so those are some of the keywords that you can, that, that, that serve as hint uh, for you to use combination formula. Now let's go to uh, letter A, if there are no restrictions at all. So what we need to do is to, uh, to come up with a committee of five from six women and seven men. So that means if there are no restrictions involved, um, that means we don't need to consider the gender, all right? So we need to select now five 
from 6 plus 7, that's going to be 13. So that would be combination of 13 taken 5. Uh, apply the formula. This is what we're going to get. <clears throat> and you will have, if you want to expand or use scientific calculator, definitely you can use and cancel out the common factors once again. Um, 5, 10, and 2. Okay. 12, 4, 3. And um, just multiply all the remaining factors and we will get 1,287. So that is without restriction. So in IGCSC uh, additional math, pap math papers, uh, usually there is this first question where in there is no restriction at all. Uh, let's go to letter B. If there are more men than women. So we need to go come up with a committee of five wherein there are more men than women. So one good strategy is to come up with something like this. So we have men and women. So let's list the possibilities of coming up with a committee of five people. So um, we have four and one. That's a possibility, right? We have four men and one woman. Another possibility is three and two. Okay, that's correct. And five, zero. That's right. And two, three. Okay, even though there are seven men, we cannot come up with seven because we only need to come up with a committee of five. All right, so the maximum number of uh, person inside a committee is five. Now, let's try to satisfy the restriction. More men than women. Okay, more men than women. So, let's see. Is five, zero a possibility? Yes, because there are more men here than women. What about 4, 1? Yes, it's also a possibility. So 4 is greater than 1, so that is right. And then 3, 2, that is also another possibility. What about 2, 3? Even though the total is 5, but there are less men, less men than women here, right? So that's not going to be counted as a possibility. So one way for us to solve this is to come up with this list and then eliminate whatever... Uh, can whatever is uh, not satisfying the condition. All right, so now let's have the first possibility. Five men. So how do we select five men from seven? It's going to be seven, combination of seven taken five. And then for the women, it is uh, selecting no woman from six women. That is combination of six taken zero. So what we need to do is to multiply this two and we will get 21 times 1 equals 21. So for the first possibility wherein there are 5 men and no woman, there will be 21 ways to do that. Okay, we will come up with that 21 committees. Okay, 21 committees with 5 men and no woman. Now let's look at the second possibility. 4 men from 7 and that is combination of 7 taken 4. And one woman, that will be combination of 6 taken 1. Then multiply this 2, and then we will get 35 times 6 equals 210. And let's go to the last possibility. We have combination of 7 taken 3. Multiply to combination of 6 taken 2. And we will have 35 times 15 equals 525. So these are actually uh, the three cases. Okay. So what we can do is add all of them, okay, and the total will be 756, 756 committees. Good. All right. Now let's go to problem three. Uh, a school committee of five people is to be selected from a group of four teachers and seven students. So it's the same thing. You, you, you saw the word committee and then selected. So that means this is a combination problem. Find the number of different ways that the committee can be selected if there must be at least one teacher and there must be more students than teachers. All right, again, one, uh, one advice, good advice, is for you to underline all of the information that you can see in the word problem. So we have, uh, we need to select five people from four teachers and seven students. Okay, so now let's list. All right. 4, 1, so meaning there are 4 teachers and 1 student. 
So this is a total of five. Okay, so that's a possibility, right? What about three teachers and two students? Two teachers and three students. One teacher and four students. Okay, we don't need a five zero because there are only four teachers, right? Now what about zero five? Okay, that's also a possibility, correct? Now, let's try to uh, satisfy now the conditions. There are actually two conditions here. The first one is there must be more students than teachers. Okay, so which among the, the, the list here satisfies this condition? All right, now let's eliminate. So this one is not because there is, there is less student than teachers. Now this one as well, okay, two is less than three, so that, that won't be counted. All right. Now, there's another condition we're in, at least there's one teacher. Okay, so, and then that means 0, 5, because there's no teacher there in that committee. Uh, that means this one is not satisfying this condition. All right, so we are left with two. So let's start with the first one. So selecting two teachers from four teachers, that is combination of four taken two. Selecting three students from seven, that is combination of seven taken three. Multiply the 2, and we will get 210. The second possibility is selecting uh, 1 teacher from 4 teachers, so combination of 4 taken 1. And then we have 4 students from 7, combination of 7 taken 4. Using your scientific calculator will give you 4 times 35, and that is equal to 140. So once again, you have to add this all up. And that will give you 350 committees of five people we're in. There is at least one teacher and there must be more students than teachers. Very good. Now let's go to the last problem. Rafu has a collection of 10 CDs. Four of the CDs are classical, three are jazz, and three are rock. He selects five of the CDs from his selection. Find the number of ways can he make his selection if, letter A, his selection must contain his favorite jazz CD. B, his selection must contain at least three classical CDs. Okay, let's have the first one. Again, underline the important, the important information, 10 CDs, and then 10 CDs consists of four classical. All right, uh, that's an, this is another way of doing it. Okay, four classical, so I, I tend to write the number, okay, let's say four, or you can just probably write four C, okay, that represents four classical. And then we have also, out of those 10, we have three jazz, okay, then you can write that, and then three rock. Okay, so you know what we are doing right now is we're coming up with the possibilities and then uh, it looks like a table like this. Okay, now let's have the condition. The condition is favorite, favorite. So if, if, if the selection must contain a favorite jazz CD, even though we don't know the specific from those three jazz uh, CDs, we know that there's a particular, a specific one that is Raffo's favorite, okay? And that can be represented as one, all right? One. But he needs to select five. So that means the four will be coming from either classical or rock. Okay? And that's going to be four. So this is uh, the only possibility, the only outcome to satisfy the restriction. So take uh, four coming from classical or rock. So we have three uh, jazz. We have four classicals and then three rocks, so that's four plus three, that is seven. That's why combination of seven taken four. And the one favorite jazz taken from three, that is combination of three taken one. Multiply this two, and it will give us this uh, product, 105. Okay, so that's the answer for letter A. Okay, now favorite, sometimes in word problems, it can also be uh, replaced by the word particular or specific. Well, let's go to letter B. His selection must contain at least three classical CDs. So once again, let's come up with this uh, table. 
this list for classical three rock and three jazz. Now, what is the condition in letter B? It must be at least three classical CDs. So when you say at least, it can either be three or four. Now, if there are three classical CDs here in the selection of five, then the other two must be either coming from rock or jazz CDs. And if there are four, that means one will be, coming, will be either rock or jazz CDs. So it cannot be five because we only have four classical CDs. All right, so that means these are the two possibilities or combinations that we can come up with to satisfy the restriction. So let's go to the first one. Um, selecting three classical from four, that is combination of four taken three, and selecting two uh, from rock and jazz, that will be three plus three, that is six. So combination of six taken two. And that will give us four times 15 equals 60. And for the second possibility, uh, we need to select four from four classical, so that will be represented by combination of four taken four. And for the other one, for the remaining one, that will be a combination from six taken one. So multiply the two and we will get a uh, six. And we add 60 and six and that will give us 66 selections. All right, so that's uh, the last problem. Hope that you learned something from me today. Um, if you do have problems or uh, word problems that you find it challenging to solve, you can actually uh, uh, suggest for me to come up with you know, a video uh, to present to you the working solution for that. All right, now if you have concerns, requests, please write them all up in the comment section or please email me. In my email address is jttadeo2014 at gmail.com. So once again, thank you very much for listening and please watch out for my next lesson video. Once again, thank you, thank you very much to all of those who have subscribed and for all of those who have commented and liked the videos. Hope that you are learning from me, from these videos. Thank you once again and see you next time.